Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am wonky. Is that any better? Why not? Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the horror booktube tag. So this was created by Hey Little Thrifter, and I will link to her video below. Definitely go and check her channel out because it's great. She's a fellow sort of charity shop lover, and as you can tell from the, uh, the, the the title of this tag, she likes horror. So there are 13 questions we're going to go through and uh, see how we get on. So, question number one: How and when did you get into horror? So, I don't know if there's a particular time. I mean, I've read for pretty much as long as I can remember. And I remember speaking to somebody at, like, a horror conference here in the UK. And they were saying that horror is like romance in that it can creep into other genres. So, with fantasy, as soon as there are fantasy elements in a book, it tends to get classified as fantasy. But with both horror and romance, you can have a fantasy novel with horror in it or with romance in it. Or, you know, any of these other genre novels, crime, etc. So I think that's kind of how I look at it. I think I've been reading books with horror elements in them for a long time. I suppose I first sort of seriously got into horror in my teens, sort of mid to late teens really. I think probably because I picked up like the Thomas Harris Hannibal books and read those. Then a few other bits and bobs and it just sort of went from there. Question number two, what was the first horror book that you read? So for me that was probably Attack of the Mutants by R.L. Stein. This is a Goosebumps book. Goosebumps is kind of what I guess probably was actually what got me into horror thinking about it. I used to read a lot of these books as a kid and this is the one that I remember as being one of my early favourites. I don't know if it's the first one that I read but it was certainly one of the first ones that I read. And it's kind of ironic because I still get nostalgic about it now even though it's about superheroes and I don't really like superhero stuff. Who knew? Weird. Question number three. What horror related goodness can we expect from your channel? Well, I'm not like a, a, a horror booktuber. I'm also not a horror writer, although I've written horror books. Uh, but I do read a bit of horror here and there amongst like pretty much every other genre, I guess. So there will be bits about horror here and there. I'm a Stephen King fan as well, so there'll be stuff like that. Been reading some more Joe Hill recently too. So uh, yeah, just horror books and stuff. Question number four. Do you have any favorite themes or subgenres within horror? Not that I can think of, um, yeah, no, none that I can think of, really. I mean, I guess, like, creepy kids, creepy kids tend to, you know, I like creepy kids. That sounds very wrong, but you know what I mean. Like, they, they genuinely scare me, whereas a lot of horror stories, although I know they're horror from reading them, they don't necessarily scare me. Creepy kids always scare me. Question number five, name an underrated horror novel or author. So I'm gonna go with The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. I mean, obviously everyone knows about The Exorcist for the movie, but I don't, I feel as though not as many people have read the book and it really is just phenomenal. It's probably the scariest book I've ever read and just, yeah, like, as I say, I don't tend to get scared that much in books, but in this one, I just, I was terrified. It like left such an impression that I remember some of the, uh, some of the first lines to it off the top of my head, so it's, like the brief doomed flare of exploding suns that passes dimly and registers on blind men's eyes. The beginning of the horror passed almost unnoticed. Let me, let me see what it actually was. Here we go. Chapter 1. Like the brief doomed flare of exploding suns that registers dimly on blind men's eyes. The beginning of the horror passed almost unnoticed. And the shriek of what followed in fact was forgotten and perhaps not connected to the horror at all. So yeah, they left that kind of impression on me. Question number six, name an overrated horror novel or author. So I'm going to commit blasphemy here and say The Shining by Stephen King. It's okay. I don't think it's anywhere near King's best. I actually am one of the few people who prefers the movie to the novel. And it was actually the first Stephen King book that I read and I didn't much enjoy it. And it almost put me off reading him. And then I picked up another one. And it wasn't even, I think it was like Doom a Key or something like that. And then just started, kind of got hooked to his writing and... Uh, yeah, went from there, but I actually reread this earlier this year and I still, I, I just think it's okay, you know? Question number seven, recommend three of your favourite horror novels. Okay, so I'm gonna go for The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty again. And then I also picked up I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. This is great, it's very different to the film, I mean the concept is the same, but like the monsters are different as well, the ending's very different, the ending in this is, is brutal and I really, really liked it because of that. And just really well written, and yeah, every horror fan needs to read this. And uh, finally, I picked up The Stand by Stephen King, which I guess is horror. It's also kind of post-apocalyptic and, I guess, survival horror in a way. I mean, then you've got, like, Randall Flagg and all, all that stuff in it, so uh, The Walking Dude. Uh, and I'm going to be rereading this in December. Uh, it's probably my favourite Stephen King book, so looking forward to that. Question number eight. Recommend a book for someone who is new to the horror genre. 
So I'm going to go for The Woman in Black by Susan Hill, especially if you've seen and enjoyed the movie, or if you like kind of Victorian classics, you know, things like Sherlock Holmes and, and uh, Dracula and that kind of stuff, because it's got that kind of gothic vibe, even though it's obviously written more recently, so you get the best of both worlds. It's quite easy to read, but at the same time you get this quite classical feeling ghost story, and uh, yeah, and it's just good as well. Question number nine, are there any book to film adaptations that you particularly loved or hated? I don't know. Uh, I do watch some films, not as many as like most people I would say, because I tend to watch documentary films. Probably like some of the Amityville horror films were terrible, because I watched like all of them. Including like, I don't know, I can't even remember what they were called, but like Amityville Horror 3 and like all the spin-offs and direct directed video ones and stuff. So I'm going to go with that because that's all that comes to mind. Question number 10. How do you discover new, or new to you, horror books? Partly through BookTube, people like Edward Lawn, Hey Little Thrifter as well, Todd the Librarian at sometimes Jason's Weird Reads. There are plenty of BookTubers out there who read a lot of horror, and so I come a lot of st across a lot of stuff through that. And then also just through friends, because a lot of my friends are indie horror writers, so either they have new books out or they recommend a, a, you know another writer's book and I check that out. So yeah, recommendations mostly. Question number 11, what was the last horror book that you bought? It's over there somewhere, and I think it's The Dark Half by Stephen King. Again, I guess you'd call that that, that horror. I don't know, because I don't really check blurbs. Like, with Stephen King, I'll just read all of his stuff, and it doesn't really matter to me whether it's horror or thriller or what, you know? Question number 12. What horror book is at the top of your wish list? I have n no answer for this, really. Um, I don't know, probably some more James Herbert, because I read The Rats earlier this year or maybe late last year and quite enjoyed that or some more Joe Hill as well and question number 13 tag some people so I'm gonna do what I normally do I'm gonna go into my YouTube dashboard and look at who's recently tagged me and I'm gonna tag some people from that and hope that the battery doesn't run out on the camera because it's been flashing at me all video <laughs> okay so I'm gonna tag uh, books down under wolf shop publishing arm in the reader Joel Swagman uh, Jason's weird reads or did he tag me no, I'm going to tag Jason's Word Reads, Alex Black, Cats and Camera, Charles Heathcote, Todd the Librarian, and Jaden Reads as well. So yeah, consider yourselves tagged. And so there we have it. That was my take on the BookTube horror tag, I want to say. Thanks a lot to Hey Little Thrifter for creating this tag and for inviting me to do it as well. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.